All right, let's talk about jobs at real world companies. The data roles. This is a database. Data base. Let's talk about data roles. Number one is the DA or data. analyst and they create reports and KPIs that's what they do this is their job they create reports they create KPIs key performance indicators all right for the business to consume they don't do anything else I don't know where all this comes from. The, the data analyst is all of a sudden uh, building machine learning models. That's, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not what the real world looks like. All right, so that's what they do. This is basically the only, this is the only entry level, and it's becoming less entry level these days, entry level job I know of. The DA role. Next, DBA. Database administrator. They administrate the database, right? Usually it's one vendor, like I was a SQL server. DBA for most of my career. There are Oracle DBAs. Right? These are actually the number one and number two. There are MySQL DBAs. All right, so they administrate database, they create users, they create tables, they do backups, they work on high availability, all that fun stuff. There are data engineers. Data engineers in most companies do one thing. They create and maintain pipelines. That's mostly what they do. Um, they'll do some other things, but if you look at the roles, every role has create and maintain pipelines in it. And what's a pipeline? So we've got data. We've got data and uh, uh, transactional. Relate. This is database. And this is a relational database. This is where all the work goes during the day, right? All the work and sales shit is coming in here. This gets pumped to a, that's a much better database, isn't it? A data warehouse, all right? This is where the reporting is going to be done, all right? So the, the data analysts are going to report against this thing, this data warehouse. This data has to get here from all these. Now, the company, now you think, oh, it's only a big deal. They only have one database. No, no. Most of the companies I work at, uh, data is dirty in the real world, and it's chaotic. So one company may have a 1,000 databases. Uh, easy, right? And that's actually a small or medium-sized company. Uh, some companies have hundreds of thousands of databases. Uh, and you'll have to take the data and pump it into the data warehouse. Uh, and not where you just have to do it like one time. You'll have to do this continuous basis. Continuous. And, and that's actually, it, it's very difficult. And it's very difficult because you can't uh, come over here and influence them. Like if you influence or do something that causes downtime for the production database, you'll be fired. All right, so you'll have to do all this off hours. You'll have to break up the data so it gets over here. You're going to have different connectors. So this might be a SQL server. Then you're going to have another SQL, the one that's MySQL. And then you're going to have another one that might be uh, uh, something from Google that, that has nothing, that's not even a data warehouse. All right. That's a lot of fun. Next, we have the MLE, Machine Learning Engineer. He does two things well really he does one thing most of the time he cleans data he gets the data from this data warehouse that he needs because almost all of it's here um, a good company is going to have 90 percent of their data here he's going to pull it the data he needs you know whatever he needs down locally and clean that data right he's going to clean that data and getting the act, getting the data he needs, and then cleaning the data is about ninety percent of the job of a machine learning engineer. Modeling, he's going to model data. This is easy. 
modeling it, it's become democratized that's the word it's just easy uh, i know the best model it exists um it takes me probably i don't know five percent of my time the model and check the models and go over the models and make a highly accurate model it's just it's uh, they're all automated they're it's just easy all right so we've got cleans data and he does modeling that's the mle role what are the roles we've got the sql dev and he is a hardcore hard core sql coder the access from say an application to that database right comes from code and he's going to write all that code or oftentimes these are going to be stored procedures all that code to access from the application to the database right and all he does all day is write uh, sql code uh, it's not a lot of fun it's actually hard as hell i've seen some sort of procedures that are a thousand lines long Try to debug that and, and optimize that as pure hell. All right, so who else we have? Well, that's really about it. That's really about it in the data roles. Now, you think, well, what about the cloud roles? Well, there are no really cloud roles. There are cloud roles that sit on top of this. So if I manage uh, a database in the cloud, it's, it's still the, the work of a DBA. I mean, uh, if I'm building pipelines in the cloud, still the data engineer does it. If I'm building models uh, on Amazon, I'm still the MLE that does it. All right. None of these roles change. It's just done in the cloud. That's it. Now, if you don't see a role here, it's because it's fabricated or doesn't exist. Like you'll often see people say, make up roles and shit. Like, like an AI engineer. There is no such thing as an AI engineer the role doesn't exist or you'll see uh, like an analyst well an analyst there are a million analysts at every company all right everyone has a role of an analyst um you, you need something with that like the data analyst or there's also the ba the business analyst these people live in the business and they use excel and they're not in it and they just work for like maybe hr department or whatever uh, they are not not technical all right these rules here i lifted not technical no one wants that rule these are the only technical roles the real technical data roles at most companies all right now if you don't see a role probably because it doesn't exist you say well what about etl developer well they're, they're sql devs if you don't know sql i mean sql is a language used in all the etl tools right etl extract transform load that's extracting from a database, right? And it's transforming and loading it somewhere else, right? That's really what these data pipelines are anyhow. Most most tools have taken the place of ETL developers anyway, all right? 